Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is a brand new video for you today, and I'm making something from my childhood. I grew up eating guavas, drinking guava juice, eating guava cheese, and eating guava jelly. And what I'm gonna make for you today is a guava jelly. Now, you can take this recipe as a starter point, and if you know how to make jellies, it'll be bomb, I promise you, okay? <laughs> and if you don't, you can do this test like I did in a smaller batch, and You'll get something really delicious because I did and I still eat it today, okay? I grew up watching my aunt make this my entire life and she still makes it today. And I was really going from sight and scent because I had a little issue with this because in my mind it's supposed to set solid, like I'm supposed to be able to scoop it out with a spoon. That's how I had it in my mind. But after doing a bit of research, I realized that my end result was actually not bad for my first try, so I'm happy with it. So this recipe is a step-by-step -step of how I made my guava jelly. <laughs> so I just wanted to share it with you and just give you a little note because if you make this, you might be saying, oh, you're doing it wrong. Maybe I am, but this is how I did it, and this is what I got. Now, in the end, you're going to see two separate batches. One's going to be super amber, like clear, very clear. You can see through the glass, and the other one is going to be a little darker. That's because I really did a test. I thought it was done the first time around, and then I was like, no, I don't think it's gonna set, I don't think this is right. So I put it back on the stove and I reduced it, and I got a really, really, really dark, rich amber color. And both of these colors are what I'm used to seeing from my aunt, because, listen here, okay? It depends on the day. <laughs> but I still got the flavor of the guava jelly. I was still able to spread it smoothly. I was still able to eat it with my peanut butter as I used to do as a child. I made my Antiguan bread, I ate it. It was just it was just like home, okay? I was reliving my childhood and I was happy about that. But I just wanted to share that with you. I will be doing different things from different countries, from different eras of my life, from my country. Um, just because some things I don't know how to make, some things I want to know how to make, and other things I want to try. Like, it is what it is, okay? But that is it. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do try it out, let me know. If you know how to make jellies, let me know. <laughs> so, because I'm going to be making it again because I want to perfect it. I think it was really good for my first try, and I'm not mad at it, all right? That's it, and I will see you back here for another one. Bye. Thank you.